Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. This is about chapter 16, Monopolistic Competition. Uh, we're going to talk about quick multiple choice. This is a book of Gregory Mankiw, Principles of Economics, 7th edition. So the first question says, which of the following conditions does not describe a firm in a monopolistically competitive market? So the first option says, it makes a product different from its competitors okay then actually when 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 we talk about the monopolistic competitive market ba basically what we are trying to say is like in each product that the firm by itself they produce they are monopolist so it means that they are the products are different even slightly from one to another product. So this is the basic idea of monopolistic competition where we are, we are talking about uh, heterogeneous goods. It takes its price as given by market condition. Okay, so this should be maybe the, the one that is not correct because actually the price is determined by each firm because remember that they have market power so it allows them to fix the price that they want to sell in the market then should be the B but let's analyze the other ones it maximizes profit both in the short run and the long run that's right even when we are talking a competitive market a perfect competitive market monopolist or monopolistic monopolistic uh, firm or even a legal poly all of them they are maximizers so what they are trying to make they are going they're, they're trying to maximize benefits so in every market, we are talking about uh, that this one, the firm's maximums and the condition, this one, uh, this was the condition of the competitive market, I'm sorry, this should be the marginal revenue equal to the marginal cost. So this is the general idea for all, all kind of uh, structures in the market. So remember, this is not P, this should be, let me correct that, this should be, this should be uh, marginal revenue equal to marginal cost okay then the other option is about it has the freedom to enter or exit in the long run that's right uh, the idea is like there are no barriers to entry the different from monopoly and oligopoly markets where there are barriers to entry but in that case it's not a problem you can exit or enter it into the market when everyone so then should be the B1 okay then uh, which of the following goods best fits the definition of monopolistic competition wheat so as we are talking kind of a commodity it's basically the wheat the quality that we have from one countryside to another countryside is basically the same so for this reason it's so hard to to think about um, about monopolistic competition so it's so similar throughout producers tap water yeah it, this is more related with a natural monopoly because usually it's just one provider and this is due to the lack of infrastructure or the difficult uh, administrative like burden or kind of difficulties in order to to create more uh, other producers so then tap water maybe could be not the the best one crude oil actually we are when we talk about uh, crude oil we we think more about uh, natural oligopoly um, sorry we think more about oligopoly not natural oligopoly because there are just few producers and a lot of consumers and basically the the crude oil that is produced from one firm to another one is basically the same soft drinks definitely is the best fit about monopolistic competition why because we have first a lot of consumers second a lot of producers the soft drinks is different to drink a coca or a pepsi um, so a coca-cola as we said here should be a coke in english and a pepsi or or another soft drink definitely it's kind of different because the taste the flavor the um, i mean all the all the product is by itself different so then is a differentiated product so then should be soft drink uh, third a monopolistically competitive firm will increase its production if first marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost 
Second, marginal revenue is greater than average total cost. C. Price is greater than marginal cost. And last one, price is greater than average total cost. So with the diagram, we can answer that, uh, that question. So remember, we have here the marginal cost increasing. Here we have the marginal revenue, which is um, kind of steep, steeper than the demand we have here. And then we have the average total cost, which is like a curve shape, uh, like kind of curve shape uh, um, line, right? So here, the idea is like we have here the optimal when the marginal cost is exactly equal to the marginal revenue and this quantity should determine the price when you reflect that to the demand so then if you are in the left part of that maximizing quantity definitely you will produce more so all the time that we have here that the marginal revenue is higher than the marginal cost okay so this one should be definitely a okay then fourth new firms will enter a monopolistically competitive market if marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost marginal revenue is greater than average total cost price is greater than margin cost or price is greater than average total cost basically the same answer that the previous one so then in order to, to kind of intuitive um the, the the firms that they are interested in order to enter into the market should be because the benefits in the market should be positive so then we can um, construct the idea from the very beginning so we have that the benefits is equal exactly to the total revenue minus total cost we can represent the total revenue as the p times q which is the price uh, times the quantity you sell and then the total cost you can make kind of a trick you get multiply and divide by q is basically the same you are still with total cost then you know the total cost over the q can be defined as the average total cost and then we have q and q then we can collect those terms and at the end we have the benefits equal to q parenthesis uh, p t minus a t c which is the average total cost what we are trying to infer here is like this is kind of the markup of uh, a company the higher the price is over the average total cost the higher should be your benefit so then if the price is greater than the marginal cost is not sorry the price is greater than the average total cost should determine if a new firm will enter or not into the market okay and then what is the true of monopolistically competitive market in long run equilibrium price is greater than margin cost okay basically almost same price is equal to marginal revenue firms make positive economic profits firms produce the minimum uh, average total cost so basically the idea is like at the end of the day the long run the benefits should be zero and this is provided because at the end you will be exactly at that part when your price is equal to the average total cost which is basically the same definition of the condition of the price uh, of the um, competitive perfect competition then you have here that the price definitely is higher than the marginal cost but keep in mind that it doesn't mean that your benefits should be positive okay so then should be even at that time should be zero because the income which is price times times q let me represent here maybe to be a little bit this is the income right price price times q and the cost should be the should be the atc times q why atc times q is this area which is equivalent and remember atc is total cost over q times Q you can cancel and you've at the end you have total cost so this one this other part let me see here with this one this other one okay this should be the total cost okay so then total cost equal to total revenue so it means that the benefits are zero in the long run then if advertising makes consumers uh, more loyal uh, to particular brands it could the elasticity of demand and the markup of price for margin cost. Remember about the definition before going to the answers. Remember about the definition of elasticity. The more elastic you are, you, the more sensitive you are uh, 
like due to changes of prices okay but when you have uh, low elasticity it means that you are inelastic so it means that it doesn't matter if the price change too much you are going to still consume that good in that case when you are making advertising and you're making people more loyal to products it means automatically the elasticity should increase okay so the value um, so this one if we can think about the elasticity so the elasticity of demand should decrease. Why? Why should decrease? Because this value should be lower. So remember that the elasticity is defined as the change of, of the change of Q over the change of the price. So at that time, the price is changing, right? So this is changing, but the quantities more or less okay not too much so at that time when the denominator is higher than the numerator more and more this is going to zero or at least is decreasing right so how because it's decreasing so we can think that should be between C and D and then what happened with the markup of price remember the markup of price is price minus ATC which is average total cost so this markup should be higher why because people they are more loyal so they can charge a higher prices the ATC should be um, should be the same so that time your markup is going to be higher so then we answer as C okay then I hope that's all so I will post as usual the exercises from that chapter thank you so much for watching my videos remember this is kind of subtle I don't have like maybe I have mistakes so it should be great if you can comment that's all for today have a great day bye bye